in. Of course, we're on AstroTurf, so they're all clean, but you know what I mean. 3.50 clock running here in the fourth. Again, the Indians will be on the road again next week at Central Valley, which is the combination of Rochester and Manaka. They used to play for the bridge. So we'll be heading up the Ohio River next week. Smith trying to get to the outside and does. Smith up the sideline, cuts back to the inside. Inside the 20, down at the 16-yard line. I mark him at the 17, a pickup of 23. Into Big Mac territory, Jared Halatis. And that's a first down for the Indians. See if the Indians can finally get this clock running. Of course, we're approaching three minutes to go. That's uh, uh, Tarrant, the quarterback. Smith in motion. Penalty flags come in. Julian Foy was about to get the handoff. Encroachment, the charge against the Big Mac. So Canada Mack gives the Indians five yards offsides. Fisher calls encroachment. Foy gets the hand off into the pile. Not a lot there. It gets Junior back to the line of scrimmage. On the carry. Evan Eckert makes the soft four. We'll roll under two middle. and a half to go here in the fourth. Gain of one, second down and four. Indians can get this clock under two minutes before snapping another one. The Indians are displaying some clock management here. Well, nine seconds to go on the play clock. Smith inside the 10, dives his way to the one yard line. Oh goodness, he tripped on that white three yard, on, um, Smith. Three yard line there. He'll get down to the one yard line. Dove ahead to the one. Grant with Foy behind him. It'll be Foy stacked up. Julian Foy. Nothing doing. Jared Halatis makes the soft four. Cannon McNulty. The Indians can let this roll under a minute before snapping the ball. Two yard line. Second and goal. Trant keeps it himself into the end zone. Cameron Tarrant on the carry. Indians an extra point away from getting that running clock here with 52 seconds to go. Eric Antonucci to try the point after for the Indians. And a kick is up and good. Antonucci's conversion. 52 good. seconds to go. Penn Hills 42. Cannon Max 7. You are watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. So the Indians have sealed this one. They'll move to 2-0 on the season. 
Jenko tees the ball up at the 40-yard line. Brennan Handy side, Brian Milligan await the offering. Dibko's kick, taken at the 14-yard line by Milligan. He's stacked up at the 25. Brian and Milligan on the return. Out across the 20, met hard by Greg Houlihan. It's Greg Houlihan with the stick, and Milligan's not getting up. 46 seconds to go in the fourth. The Indians up 35. You're watching the Pendles Indians Football Network. Brian Milligan, who laid motionless on the field for quite some time, gets up and walks off quite woozily. 46 seconds remain in this, this contest. Canamac keeps it on the ground. Pickup of six Jason for Jason Quinn. Stephon Smith Green on the soft four, Penn Hills Indians. Host of Indians making the tackle. Jenkins Ellsworth and Reese on that last carry. Clock approaching 10 seconds. This should be the final play of the game. And Canamac keeps it on the ground. Nothing doing there is Hamden Wyatt. Hamden Wyatt on the stop. That's the final play of the game. Congratulations. And Wyatt makes the tackle, and that'll do it. Varsity Penn Hills Indians on this Southeastern Conference victory. 42 7, the final score. As the gentlemen exchange. The final score, Penn Hills 42, Cannon Mac 7. The Indians coming in, send their record to 2-0, jumped out to a 21-0 lead. It was 21-7 at halftime. Indians scoring all three touchdowns here in the second half. And finish out 42-7, move to Central Valley next week with a record of 2-0. Our player of the game tonight, Isaiah Jones, 142 yards rushing. Indian defense playing well again, but the Indians got to, they have to kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit and kind of correct themselves in making some of the uh, unforced errors that allowed Cannon Mack to stay in this ball game tonight. But nonetheless, the Indians come away uh, with the victory. Again, the score, 42 to seven. So we'll wrap up here for our cameraman, Bernard Mathis. Our help on the video machine, the ever lovely, ever gorgeous, ever, ever beautiful, Helen Navari. Again, the final score from Cannon Mac, Big Mac Stadium. The Penn Hills Indians 42, the Penn Hills Indians seven. I'm Bill Navari. Thank you for watching Penn Hills Indians football here on Comcast and the Penn Hills Indians football network.